play the pedal steel. And uh, I always liked the sound of the steel guitar. I used to listen to the Grand Ole Opry on Saturday nights. It was on the radio. When someone would come on there playing the steel guitar, I just loved it. Norman Hamlet started picking when he was 14. Playing in a number of bands in the Central Valley, he landed in Bakersfield in 1964. At the time, I was actually playing that club seven nights a week, and then I was doing a TV show five days a week. I was doing uh, Dave Stogner's show on Channel 17. A number of gigs later, he was introduced to country music legend Merle Haggard. Finally, he came in one day and he said, I need a steel player. Hamlet spent the next 49 years playing for Merle's band, The Strangers. Pretty much if you hear a steel guitar on the, you know, on the, behind Merle, then it's usually me. Take the Hag's iconic song, Mama Tried. Hamlet was there. Uh, well, yeah, I was there. <laughs> but I didn't play much on it. Actually, all I done was just a little lick on the uh, on the on the thing. It went uh, da 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 da, and then dun da. You know, that's all I played. A modest musician who also crossed paths with a young father and his little girl who would one day become known as the sweetheart of steel. And he said, I've got a little girl that, uh, that wants to play the steel guitar. And uh, her name just happened to be Barbara Mandrell. Country Music Hall of Fame and Grand Ole Opry member Barbara Mandrell. Hamlet taught her how to play, but he doesn't boast or brag. He just picks and plays and remembers his time with the hag. It was really good working with Merle. He, he was, he was, he, he was a great guy. Really was. Glad I got to be with him that long, you know, because I enjoyed playing music every night we played. It was fun. And, uh, you know, when you, when you have a, when you have a job, actually, that, that you have that much fun, well, I'll tell you, it's just, I just, I just loved it. that.